If you're a regular subscriber, you probably caught all of the COVID kindness content that I was sharing months ago. Well, here we are. A lot of people don't really want to talk about COVID anymore, but the reality is there are many people who are still in the thick of it. In fact, one of the concerning pieces of feedback that I received after a recent release was the response of a doctor and a nurse having had a conversation. Sure, we love all of the clanging of cups at 8.30 at night and seeing people's signs on their front lawn and on, and uh, even just this, this uh, last month, there's whole line of Canada Post delivery trucks were going down the road right beside our hospital, waving flags and honking their horn. And it was all to express appreciation as a fellow essential services organization for the people working in the hospital. Beautiful, wonderful grand gestures. In fact, it's, I've never been prouder as a recognition expert than I am right now. And then you get messages about the reality of how people are feeling or they're worried about how they will experience post COVID. So the feedback that I received was from a loyal reader. She's an occupational health and safety professional. And while she was waiting to get her food from the cafeteria, a doctor and a nurse in front of her were speaking and, and shared, you know, it's just great hearing all of these things now, but do you think that they're just going to go back to not appreciating us later? And it kind of hurt my heart when she shared that because I thought, no, I thought that you would feel so valued and appreciated. And then when I reflected on having worked in hospitals for 15 years, I thought, yeah, this happens in cycles all the time. I can only imagine how firefighters and police officers feel every anniversary of 9-11. Everybody's super grateful for them at that time. And then the rest of the year comes along and do they still feel the same amount of recognition and appreciation? So here's my challenge to all of you. Who are the people that you know, you, they're your neighbors, they're your family members, they're your friends, they're maybe even your peers that you want to make sure feel appreciated and valued on the other side of our pandemic. Will you please put a reminder in your calendar or in your journal, whatever way in which you use to keep track of your life, please put a reminder in there to directly and explicitly express your gratitude that you feel in this moment. Because what I don't want is for the reality to happen. That musing, that, that sort of offhand comment between a doctor and a nurse, wondering if people are going to feel appreciative of them later, Let's all make sure as fellow recognition diehards that not on our watch, we won't let that happen. We will do our part to keep our appreciation legacy going. And let us not let any essential services worker question for a second how grateful we were to them during this challenging time. My name's Sarah McDaniel. I hope you will join me in this pledge, share with other people that you know could be part of this and don't miss a single week of Your Greatness Magnified by subscribing.